guys today. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, install Sims 3 uh, mods. I want to first get uh, WinRAR, WinZip, 7Zip, or any that type of program. Uh, or you can just, you don't have to download them exactly, but I just recommend them because I use them. So, yeah, you want to open up internet. You want to first uh, download a mod. You want to go to mod. You want to go to mod the sims info. You gotta register, but it's free and it's easy. Um, and you also want to get, you know, uh, WinRAR or Seven Zip, whatever. Just Google that, and you should find it. Okay. You gotta log in. You gotta register. And once you've registered, logged in, you want to go to downloads. Click the down arrow and find Sims 3 and download a mod. Oh, I need to log in. download any of these mods uh, okay so I already have a lot of I've only have a few mods downloaded and I don't want to really download one so now what you want to go is go to to your uh, sims3 directory which is by default C program files electronic arts to sims3 and uh, you want to have this text file uh, I'll have the information in it pasted on the the description below and I'll have the sims to sites. Uh, you want to have all this in the text file, so you want to click, right click, new text document or notepad. For Windows 7, Windows Vista, you have to go to organize, folder and search options, view and uncheck hide extensions, known file types. Uh, what this does is it hides the dot text see the dot tv cfg it's gone now so uh, this is very important because watch what happens right so I'll put I'll make a new text document uh, blah 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 dot cfg now it still says text document that's because if you uncheck this you'll see that it has a dot text afterwards see you gotta delete that or else it won't work on Vista or Windows 7 so yeah so you wanna have that unchecked once you have that unchecked you can now proceed to install mods are you serious computer is so slow alright and now you wanna right click make a new folder name it mods and in it make another new folder name it packages this is where all the mods go I already have the, some mods here and uh, so yeah it's about it and also if you want to have uh, uh, if you downloaded someone else's saved sim and you want to uh, play with it you want to go to documents electronic arts the sims 3 and you want to click and you want to open the folder saved sims now if you don't have this folder right click and then make that folder and put the same. Now what you want to do is uh, this is basically it. You can also have custom music, which uh, plays it in like background music. It's not uh, the one like the stereo one. It's just the background music. What it sounds like. You can just extract the .mp3 files, and that's about it. If you guys got any comments, questions, uh, I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. So uh, comment below later.